so our Alice got me into writing poetry. But here's the deal, right? There's a poem in here that when I read it, I thought this poem, this poem would sound really good if you did it with an African accent, a West African accent, to be more precise, a West African accent, yeah? I just thought, yeah, you know what? I'm going to read this in a West African accent because this poem is just, it's just brilliant. It's called, Never Offer Your Heart to Someone Who Eats Hearts. And because of the mode that I'm in at the moment, I'm writing, I'm in the middle of writing a novel and eating hearts is part of the fabric of this novel that I'm writing. And the novel is set in Africa and um, it just got me. I just thought, oh, this poem is, this is, this poem, this this poem, I'm going to read this in. Let's just, I'm just, let's just get to the chase, right? So, this poem is called Never Offer Your Heart to Someone Who Eats Hearts by Alice Walker. Okay. Never offer your heart to someone who eats hearts. Who finds heart meat delicious but not rare? Who sucks the juices drop by drop and bloody chins grins like a god? Never offer your heart to a heart gravy lover. Your stewed, over seasoned heart consumed, he will sop up your grief with bread and send it shuttling side to side in his mouth like bubble gum. If you find yourself in love with a person who eats hearts. These things you must do. Freeze your heart immediately. Let him, next time he examines your chest, find your heart cold, flinty, and unappetizing. Refrain from kissing lest he in revenge dampen the spark in your soul. Now, Sail away to Africa, where the holy women await you on the shore, long having practiced the arts of replacing hearts with God and song. Do you see what I mean? Who agrees with me, right? I want you to put down in the comments. Do you or do you not agree with me that never you offer your heart to someone who eats hearts? It's just totally, it's just beautiful in an African accent. I just think it's beautiful. So, um, yeah, if you can buy this book, go out and buy it. Um, I just think that anybody who wants to write poetry should have this.